Okay, so this planter, we've had a lot of issues in um, growing stuff the last few years, so it uh, gets a lot of heat. So uh, Chris has suggested uh, melon, so that's what I've done, and some, and I put in some onions. So um, that's what we got here, and I'm going to try to grow them up on the kale panel and stuff. So we have several different melons here: watermelon, a type of um, cantaloupe. This is um, tasty pie, so it's like one um, serving of a cantaloupe. Um, this is a new one I'm excited to try. This is papaya dew. It's like a um, Crenshaw, I think, or something like that. And then this is a mountain honey that we've had a lot of good success, and it's great. But the poor thing is struggling a little bit. This is a walking kale that region veg from a root down there. And uh, I'm going to see how that grows. And then I'm, uh, I wanted a lot of Roma tomatoes. And so this year in my veg trucks, I planted 12, two in each one, and then put in the hot pepper to go with it. And I'm trying to see if I could interspurse some um, crops. So the lettuce is doing really well. You can see it got some red tomatoes going and then this is a Fresno chili uh, Sal wanted me to try that really cool that they grow upwards and uh, so yeah the lettuces are doing good and then um, I added that um, half barrel so we got blue boarberry and this is the principal Borgese that I have cloned I don't know five times now maybe it's been a while and um, and then I also am trying to do carrots. The biggest issue with interplanting the carrots in this spot here, I think is they're just not getting enough sun to finish off. So they're just kind of staying where they are. 